Hi, and thank you for joining me for day one of this online experience that the Lord has put on my heart to, to share with you so that we could experience this together. And it's simply God's wisdom for living found in the book of Proverbs. And every day, Lord willing, we're going to take a look at a few verses from each proverb. So today we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 1. Tomorrow we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 2 and so forth. And I hope this is a blessing to you and I hope it encourages you and, and I hope it gives you the wisdom that we all need for living in such a time as this. Let's jump right into Proverbs chapter 1. It said, the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. So here, Right away, what we see is an invitation as we dive into this book of the Bible that we can gain wisdom and instruction, and that is so important. And we get this combined with the words of understanding. And, and, and what this is all pointing to is to have understanding, to receive instruction, to gain wisdom. And what really is wisdom? I think wisdom is the ability to make choices and decisions that are the best for our lives, that are in agreement with God's word and will, and that if, if we could hear God just right next to us, he would say, yeah, I would make the decision this way or that way. And so, and to give us wisdom for every single day. So that's the invitation we have. Check it out. It goes in verse three, continues, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. That's fantastic. To give prudence to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. In verse 5, a wise man will hear and increase in learning. And so that is my prayer for all of us, for myself and for everybody watching and participating, that we will hear the Word of God and that we will increase in our learning. It continues, a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. And there's no wiser counsel in the, word, in the world than the Word of God. And look, it says to understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. So God's word can give us all the wisdom that we need to face every day and be victorious. So here's a great invitation and a reason to journey, to journey with me as we take a look at Proverbs for these 31 days together. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 33 says this, but whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Isn't that just fantastic? So God's word is promising us, gain wisdom, gain instruction, gain understanding, increase your learning. Let's go to God's word and let's do this together for 31 days. And as we look at Proverbs each day, just for a few minutes together, God says, hey, if we will listen, we're gonna dwell in safety, we'll be secure, and we can live without fear of evil because there's plenty of that all around us. So right now, let me just pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for our short time together today. I pray for everybody listening that they would find hope and encouragement knowing that your word is going to give us the wisdom that we need for living, wisdom that helps us to make good choices and to give us a future that is outlined by you. And God, I just know and believe that the future you have for us is, is something uh, that we can look forward to and something that we can have hope in because you have outlined that future. Give us the ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Give us understanding. Give us the wisdom that we need for daily living. In Jesus' name, amen. So my encouragement to you, read the rest of this. Read Proverbs chapter 1 before you call it a day. And check out the rest of this chapter and join me again tomorrow as we take a look at Proverbs chapter 2. That's God's wisdom for living. Day 1 is done. I thank you so much for joining me.